You're probably familiar with vitamin D. You know, the sunshine vitamin. The vitamin our bodies make when sun rays beam down on our skin. The one that's critical for our overall health and wellness. But did you know that many of us, in fact, don't have enough vitamin D in our bodies? Which means that many of us, especially people of color, have what scientists call vitamin D deficiency. And did you know that vitamin D deficiency has been an epidemic in the US for over 15 years? And most people don't even realize it. That's a pretty big deal because our health depends on vitamin D. Too little vitamin D or vitamin D deficiency can disrupt how our bodies normally function and can lead to major health complications. Complications with our immune system, affecting how our bodies protect us against bacteria and viruses, to complications with our brains, impacting our memories and even our mood. It can even lead to complications with our kidneys, which affects how our bodies get rid of toxins, our hearts and lungs, affecting how we breathe and how blood moves through our bodies. Even complications during pregnancy, which affects how long a pregnancy lasts and how babies grow and develop. And that's just to name a few things that vitamin D does. You see, vitamin D is not just another vitamin. It doesn't just keep our bones strong. Every part of our body needs vitamin D. And that's what we mean when we say vitamin D is critical for our overall health and wellness. So how do we get this critical vitamin? Well, there are three different ways. The first, which most people are familiar with, is through spending time in the sun. The second is through the food we eat, and the third is through supplementation. Sun rays are probably the most common way we think to get vitamin D. It works like this. When UVB rays beam down from the sun and reach our skin, our bodies start making vitamin D. Kind of like how plants need sunlight to make energy. We cannot make vitamin D without sun rays directly hitting our skin. Experts say on average we need 15 to 20 minutes every day in direct sunlight with at least 40% of our skin exposed to get the vitamin D we need. This translates to spending about 20 minutes outside in the sun in a bathing suit with no sunscreen every single day. And realistically, most of us aren't doing that. Americans spend about 90% of their time inside, not making vitamin D. But even if we were sunbathing every single day, there's a whole list of other circumstances that could still prevent our bodies from making vitamin D. One is the weather. If it's really cloudy or foggy, or there's lots of smog in the air, fewer sun rays can penetrate through the atmosphere to get to our skin, and so less vitamin D can be made, which means we would need to spend much longer than 20 minutes in the sun to get the vitamin D we need. Other things like wearing sunscreen can lessen how much vitamin D our bodies make by as much as 99%. Now we are not saying that you should not wear sunscreen. Definitely still wear it to protect your skin, but it is important to be aware that sunscreen, along with the weather and other atmospheric conditions, can significantly reduce the amount of vitamin D your body is able to produce. Even wearing clothes can lower how much vitamin D you make. Not to mention any time that sun rays are just less intense, like early morning and late evening, during winter time, or just all year round in those parts of the world farthest from the equator. So basically, if you regularly wear clothing, use sunscreen, which is highly recommended by dermatologists, spend most of your day inside, live in northern or southern parts of the world, or just choose to avoid the sun altogether, you have a higher chance of having vitamin D deficiency. But wait. There's still more. Another huge factor in the amount of vitamin D people are able to make from sun rays is skin pigmentation. Darker skin is like a natural sunscreen. It has more pigment, or what's known as melanin, that protects the skin from sun damage, which is a great thing, but it has its downsides. It makes it much harder for people of color to make vitamin D, three to six times harder. 82% of black Americans and 63% of Latinx are vitamin D deficient compared to 31% of white Americans. That means that black and brown people are more likely to suffer from the health complications that disrupt normal functions of the body. And because most people don't even know about the epidemic of vitamin D deficiency, people of color are often unaware that they're more likely to be deficient or about the negative effects this can have on their health. On top of that, vitamin D testing is not part of a normal blood test during a doctor's visit. So most people aren't aware that they're low on this critical vitamin. So now that we understand how important vitamin D is and how difficult it can actually be to get enough through sun exposure alone, let's talk about the two other ways to get vitamin D. The second way to get vitamin D is through foods we eat. But unfortunately, there are very few foods that contain this critical vitamin. And the few that do, don't have enough to meet our body's needs. Fatty fish and egg yolks do contain vitamin D, but not a lot. 
you would need to eat at the very least 30 egg yolks a day or almost two cans of tuna every single day to get the suggested amounts of vitamin D. That is not recommended or practical. So if we're not getting the vitamin D that we need from the sun or from our food, and we know that it's really important, how do we get it? Well, this brings us to option number three, and that's the most reliable way to make sure we're getting enough vitamin D every day, supplementation. Now there's a ton of vitamin D supplements to choose from, but you wanna choose the right type and the right amount for you. Vitamin D3 is the type of vitamin D you wanna take. It's also the type most doctors choose because our bodies absorb it so well. As for how much you should take, it really varies from person to person. So definitely talk with your doctor first. But generally, the recommended amount for adults is 600 IU or international units per day or 15 micrograms per day and up to 4,000 IUs per day or 100 micrograms. But there's a catch. For people who are more likely to have too little vitamin D in their bodies or have vitamin D deficiency, doctors recommend they take more, like 1,500 to 2,000 IUs more, and up to 10,000. This is especially important for people of color, so make sure you talk with your doctor if you think you may be deficient. With all this in mind, remember that vitamin D isn't just another vitamin. It is a vital nutrient that every part of your body needs. It's super important for being healthy and well. And if you aren't getting enough of it, your body simply can't function normally, which can lead to major health complications. So go ahead and safely get more sun and eat more foods that contain vitamin D, but most importantly, consider adding a vitamin D supplement to your diet so that you can be confident you're getting enough of this essential vitamin that every part of your body needs.